This little bashed one-liner can crash your computer. Yep, I'm not kidding. 14 characters and boom, you need to restart your system. So what is the script doing? How does it work? And how can we make it happen in assembly? All this today and more on Low Level Learning Security Edition. The code here is referred to as a fork bomb. A fork bomb is a program that when ran creates two copies of itself. Every copy creates two more copies and this copying happens infinitely. It eats up all of your RAM and puts your computer into an unusable state. No more memory means no more processes, and no more processors means no more computer. So how does a fork bomb work? The first three characters here define a function with the name colon. And then next, we define the contents of that colon function. Inside of that function, we call the colon function again, creating function copy number one. Copy number two is created by piping the results of copy one into another call of the colon function, which is backgrounded by the ampersand. By creating two copies of this function, we've forked. And this forking happens forever as every call is infinitely recursive with no backstop. We close the colon function off, end the line with a semicolon, and then start the chaos by calling colon. All right, guys, and to show the fork bomb in action, I've got it spooled up, ready to roll here. On the left, I have top running. You have your percent CPU utilization, 15% doing user stuff, 5% doing system stuff, and then about 95% of the time doing idle stuff. So before I actually run this, read the disclaimer, two things. One, do not run this if you don't plan to crash your computer. This will take down your computer, so be careful. And then two, only do this on a computer that is yours and yours alone. Don't do it on your friend's computer, your mom's computer, whatever. All right, so here we go. And you can see my computer is not very happy, taking a long time to do a lot of stuff. 88% uh, in system time doing context switching here. Uh, this will run forever and I can still do stuff actually, but if you can tell like actually rendering the results of this function that doesn't exist is now like I can't use my computer. So yes, resources temporarily unavailable. Um, I am out of process memory. So this will go on forever. Okay, guys, and as promised, I think bash is a little too easy. So to wrap this video up, we're going to show you how to do the uh, fork bomb in assembly. So if you haven't seen my assembly tutorials in the past, go check them out. But we'll get started just like we do in all those videos. Uh, step one is we expose the start symbol. That's where our program is going to enter. Uh, the goal of this program is to do a fork bomb. So to do a fork bomb, we have to actually call the fork syscall. To get there, we invoke syscall number 57 or hex 39. Uh, we do that by moving the literal uh, hex 39 into the register rax and then calling syscall and once syscall gets ran uh, there will be two copies of this you know process open and we will have that process set jump to start again and do this infinitely that will do the same thing that our bash one liner did so we'll go ahead and uh, start this real quick and my computer has now completely locked up I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. I don't like recursion at all. Go watch this video here. We'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.